what up guys come on that was brian welcome back welcome back uh hope you guys had a good uh, christmas and thanksgiving <laughs> Take five, by the way. That's what we're cranking up. Nah, pero como pueden ver, viejones, aquí vamos a Rockford. We're gonna go pick up a pickup truck. We went to meet up with I. Como ya saben, Beach Challenges and my tasco last week in the snow. So we are here on the way to pick up a uh, Ram 4th Gen, like the one I used to have. I was supposed to pick up a C71, like a 09010 uh, MBS. MBS on Monday. Uh, no, Sunday, but I didn't have a ride. And the guy sold it unfortunately yesterday. And I found a uh, Forge Gen Ram. We're gonna go pick it up, check it out here. The Rockford is about an hour and 10 minutes away from me. I get that one to the Jesse. El Sideways Junior King. Sideways King. Dice que me quiere quitar la crown. Vamos a ver a ver este año, el año que viene a ver si me la va a quitar el rey. Primero he has to get a truck y licencia el rey que lo trae. <laughs> Nada, no, viejanos, pero aquí vamos adelante y le vamos a enseñar la trocola ahorita que llegamos aquí. ¿Cómo andan? Aquí como pueden ver ya compramos la caminota. Aquí tenemos el título. No sé cómo la troca terminó en Rockford y el título de Indiana. Se la trajeron de dos horas, pero porque de Rockford a Chicago es una hora. De Chicago a Indiana es otra hora. Pero pues está chingón la, cami la camionetita. Ya saben, lo va a arreglar al 100. Acá viene el meco del Jesse a todo lo que da. Creo que trae muy buena licencia el güey. Disculpen por las masas malas habladas, pero pues este morro ya no lo vuelvo a traer conmigo hasta que cumpla unos 20, 15, el güey. Pero no, 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 ay, disculpen, viejo, pero como les digo, la vamos a arreglar bien mamalona como la que tenía, viejo, le vamos a poner su quemacoco, le vamos a poner sus lucecitas, el, la consola que va aquí para los lentes y para las luces, negro el, el techo, sus sunvisors de espejos, porque esto es la troca austera, acuérdense, viejo, son las austeras, son las work truck. Lo bueno que me gusta de esta camioneta es que trae alfombra. Trae alfombra y lo ahí viene el morro. Este trae alfombra y la que traía yo no trae alfombra porque pues, son workshop como les digo. Y luego este uh, los asientos se los vamos a cambiar también. Ya ahorita hablé, ya vamos a comprar la consola de la 2016. Vamos a cambiar todo el interior de la 2016 porque el tablero esta casi no me llama la atención como la, que me, como la mía que tenía antes. Era 2010 y le puse el tablero también de la 2015 a 2016. Se lo vamos a poner el mismo tablero. El cluster también se lo vamos a cambiar. Este, las puertas son manual. Se lo vamos a poner automáticas, original, todo original. Este, vamos a poner alarma, la vamos a polarizar. Un camapiojo, como les dije. Un sonidillo. Ahorita también vamos a ir por la de los reyes. Ya le compré los SRT Rims eh, o a Keegan. So, tengo que ir hasta Keegan por ellos barato para vender el compa, dice que le faltan dos llantas, está bien porque le quiero poner unas llantas para la nieve y las ponemos para atrás para que se agarre bien la camioneta, de todos modos como le digo, este troca estuvo dry, but it's good in the snow, because I had one already for a winter, for a whole winter I drove it I went to gigs, por todos lados andaba en la tocada, para los que no saben que toco en el grupo y nunca, se me, nunca me falló la, la nieve para nada, me entienden, I had the 22s are easy, todo el day pero, si ¿sí, mejores Ahí estén pendientes, déjenme les enseño el, el interior para que vean cómo está, para que estén viendo cómo está el before and after. Aquí está el interior, tiene 92 mil millas. Ya ven, mejores, si sí, la vamos a poner su consola, aquí. Este, a lo mejor el volante se lo cambio, me gustan los que traen los botones, pero el tablero, el cluster sí se lo voy a cambiar. Todavía no estoy seguro de qué color la voy a rapear porque tengo que arreglarle un poquito el oxido de la caja del dado del pasajero. Pero sí la quiero rapear toda completa. No sé si la voy a cambiar a camo otra vez como la que tenía o un solo color completa. El cofre, el, el cofre se lo voy a dejar. No le voy a poner el RT, el cofre esta vez. Así se lo voy a dejar. Mimi le pongo unos, unos vents, pero así lo voy a dejar. Guys, this is day two. I forgot to show you guys the truck. Ayer que llegamos a la ca al taller, la parqué. Nos pelamos porque tuve que ir a recoger unas headlights hasta Indiana. Y por cierto, aquí tengo las headlights. Y aquí no saben qué otra cosa. Fui por unos rines. It sucks, bro. It's my first time having a car. And miren nomás cómo ando batallando porque no me cabe nada, mijones. Aquí tengo los SRT 10 reels, uh, 22s. Se los voy a poner a la Ramona. Y ahí tengo las uh, OEM headlights atrás. Ah, las que le voy a venir poniendo también 
Este, el bumper ya lo ordené ayer. Este, um, do the bumper. Uh, I gotta go pick up a grill. Voy a recoger una grill el sábado. También el retiradón y el retiradón y ya no. I don't wanna be driving back and forth, you know. So, I'll just pick up the grill Saturday. El cabo, ya no me va a llegar el bumper, so I'm not in a rush. Y luego ahorita vamos a ir al taller ya a desmantelar la troca. Uh, we're gonna go take off all the whole front end. I'm gonna take off the rear bumper and uh, the wheels and put these wheels on. I need two tires though, so I think I'm just gonna put two tires on, two wheels on, and then the other two look for tires SAP because this weekend is pretty nice here in Chicago. So I gotta get the truck ready because probably the following week we're gonna have snow and I am not gonna drive this my car again because it's a bad situation. So yeah guys, uh, stay tuned, we're about to go to the shop ahorita and we're gonna go ahead and start taking our parts from the truck. So here's the truck guys. I just went ahead and removed the bumper. Um, but before I start taking everything apart, let me show you guys how it looks. We're gonna get the whole new front end. This is the 2010 front end. We're gonna go ahead and do the 2015 16 front end. Has no rust on the rockers. My old truck did have a little rust on the rockers. Doors are good too, they're clean. It does have carpet, it's really clean. We're gonna get leather seats, console, uh, the whole 2015 dash. Cluster, I already ordered it. This is pretty weak, that's why I wanted to light up and everything. Steering wheel, I'm gonna keep it. It's not like we could do any functions. Headliner, I'm gonna do it black. I'm not gonna do a sunroof, I'm gonna do it black. And I'm gonna do the star lights on it. The sun visors, I went ahead and purchased them already. What I like about these trucks is that they're very roomy in the back. We're gonna go ahead and remove that as well. We're gonna put a, probably the same sub console I had on the other one and then put a titty panel like the other one I had. I do wanna put speakers up there, but I think I might not. Since I'm not putting a sunroof, I'm just gonna have to leave all that there because when I do a sunroof, I relocate the light. So, or I'll probably just take that light out, keep these, when I do the console here, I'll probably keep those lights, and then I'll be able to do like two speakers up there and then two speakers down here. But other than that, this is the truck, guys. I'm gonna start taking the front end off and take off the logos, mirrors, Get it all prepped out. I got a buddy that's gonna fix this for me. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the whole panel because it is gonna start bubbling to bubble up. So I'm just gonna do the whole panel complete since I'm gonna wrap the whole truck. I don't know if I'm gonna level it out and then just put motors on the 22 wheels I got, or I'm just gonna lower the back and drive around with the level from the back, or drop two inches in the front and four in the back or five in the back. Because I am going to use this truck for my gig, so I'm going to have all my instruments in the back and it is going to spot a little more. So if I do a 2.4, I'll probably be sitting at like a 2.5 after having my instruments back there. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. If we should go ahead and level it out, lift it with some rock lights, underglow and everything. Or we should just lower it, put the 22s and leave it as is. Obviously we're going to wrap the whole truck, we're going to fix the little nicks it has here and there. Cab front end is beautiful, just the back. Guys, let me get back to work. I'm gonna upload this video guys and then probably the next video is gonna be with all the parts installed and then I am gonna do a video as well when I do the power windows because these are manual when I did the power window video I did get like five or six K views on my YouTube channel for doing it because nobody has posted a video on how to go from manual to power on the Rams so this time I am gonna do a video properly with all OEM parts OEM door handles switches and all that you know so you guys can do it go ahead and do it Check it out guys, we went ahead already. I already removed the whole front end. The whole thing is gone. I uh, went ahead and I sent it down some parts. So I can start doing the body work tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna fix that. How I told you guys, I'm gonna have to tell somebody to weld the piece on there. I did send it this part here though. I think it had like some scuffs here and there. Here's all the shitty bumpers and stuff. Uh, I had a big scratch there. It's all smooth now. Sanded it down. Went ahead and removed the emblems. And then I wet sanded it with the 2500 grit. And now I gotta buff that. But I'll buff it later because I am gonna take it for a wash. Uh, right now I'm gonna take off the inner liners and then see how 
bad it is and then call it a day guys hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for this um project the channel remember the channel is for what i do guys my projects if you guys want to keep updated go ahead and subscribe hit the button and see you on the next video guys